In 1994, Ness made his first appearance in Super Nintendo's Earthbound, an RPG that tasked the 13-year-old hero with saving the world from evil aliens. Earthbound flopped in the US but was a big hit in Japan, eventually leading to another entry in the series. Released in 2006 in Japan on the Game Boy Advance, Mother 3 followed the story of another young psychic protagonist, Lucas. 1999 Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64 would give the Mother series a second chance with Western audiences, featuring Earthbound's Ness as one of its unlockable fighters. Ness's iconic attacks and his high-pitched shouts as he performed them gained the character a new popularity thanks to Smash. Ultimately, this would lead to the retroactive success of Earthbound in the West as well. From here, Ness became a staple Smash Bros. fighter, carrying over into Melee and every subsequent Smash game. His strong air game, tricky special moves, and deadly back throw make him a popular pick in Smash Ultimate. Rewinding back to Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii, Lucas of Mother 3 was introduced as a playable fighter, further representing the Mother series in Smash. Lucas featured variations of Ness's special moves with an original normal moveset and his rope snake tether. Lucas was bizarrely cut from Smash 4 upon release, but was announced shortly after as a DLC fighter. Lucas' announcement as DLC was actually pretty significant, as developers have stated prior that Mewtwo would be the only DLC fighter coming to Smash 4. Lucas was a gateway to many more DLC fighters that would eventually come to Smash 4. In Ultimate, both Ness and Lucas were ready to play at launch, yet Ness remains a much more common pick. This doesn't make Lucas a bad character though, and he has decent local results among the few players who push him in the competitive meta. So which mother character is really a stronger hero? First, for our question of the day, do you spend more time playing Ness or Lucas? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned to find out which of these small psychics stands the tallest in Smash Ultimate. To learn even more about Ness and Lucas, you can access full guides on every character at our website, ProGuides.com. That's not all. Our site also features an ample selection of courses, ranging from basics and fundamentals for beginners to advanced techniques and tips taught by top players such as MKLeo. If you'd like to get more personalized help, you can take advantage of Instapro to instantly link up with coaches who can take your game to the next level. Alright, let's break down the pros and cons of Ness and Lucas. Ness is a floaty character with strong aerial mobility thanks to his high aerial acceleration. This allows him to weave in and out of his opponent's range and remain ambiguous as he drifts through the air. His mobility is complemented by an excellent set of aerial attacks. Ness's aerials are generally fast and start up and have very low cooldown and landing lag. This allows him to zoom around through the air and swing multiple aerials, making him one of the hardest characters to whiff punish. It isn't just hard to hit Ness though, his aerials have large disjointed hitboxes, deal large amounts of damage, and can be strung together in combos. Ness's forward air is a multi-hit aerial that can be used to drag the opponent off stage from almost any position and racks up tons of damage in the process. His neutral air comes out the quickest at frame 5, letting him escape shield pressure or combos, and even potentially start his own. Back air is also quick enough to be used as an out of shield option, and its sweet spot has enough knockback to close out stocks at reasonably early percents. Up air is another of Ness's many kill options, and it can be used to juggle and combo as well. If he connects only the first few hits of the up air before landing, Ness can perform drag down combos with this move, even leading to a KO from his mighty back throw. Speaking of which, Ness's back throw is arguably the strongest kill throw in the game. We say arguably because due to the ratios of base knockback to knockback growth, there may be specific situations where Incineroar's back throw kills earlier from a certain position on stage, but Ness's back throw is insanely strong regardless. Having such a powerful option from a grab is extremely valuable for Ness, as shielding otherwise seems like a natural answer to his relentless onslaught of aerials. Ness isn't only good in the air though. Although he doesn't run very fast, Ness can cover the ground effectively with his PK Fire, a projectile that erupts into a multi-hit burst of flames upon contact with its target. If the opponent fails to SDI optimally, PK Fire can set up for combos into aerials, grab, or even forward smash. His dash attack can also be used as an approach option or whiff punish with its quick multiple hits. Although his safe whiffs and PK fire zoning makes Ness quite capable in neutral, he becomes even scarier in advantage state. While his large, disjointed hitboxes allow him to go after opponents in the air or off stage, he can pose a great threat simply by staying grounded and going for his up special, PK Thunder. Like Snake's Nikita, PK Thunder gives Ness a moving projectile that he can control freely with the left stick. PK Thunder will launch the opponent back upwards, giving him a chance to repeat the process. If the opponent dodges it, Ness may even have a chance to capitalize further thanks to his PK Thunder 2. 
Often used for recovery, Ness can aim the PK Thunder into himself to launch away with an attack that deals immense knockback. He can go after opponents offstage with PK Thunder as well, but Ness has another, scarier option for these scenarios. His up and down smash, which use the yo-yo, have a hitbox while charging, and conveniently hang off the stage when near the ledge. Ness can use this charging hitbox to cover almost any recovery and combo into the full smash attack, giving him a low-risk, high-reward edgeguarding option. This is so useful because it doesn't require Ness to go off stage. Recovery is among his greatest weak points, although he does have a few mix-ups. As strong as PK Thunder 2 is, it takes quite a while to set up, during which time he can be easily edgeguarded. Even if he does successfully launch himself, the strong knockback and damage make this move exceptionally vulnerable to counters. Because of this, Ness will often opt to directional air dodge to ledge instead. Both Ness and Lucas travel the greatest distance with their directional air dodges, acting almost as another double jump. Although a useful mix-up to the PK Thunder recovery, air dodging to ledge leaves additional vulnerability frames when grabbing it, and Ness can be hit as he attempts to get in the range. Despite having tricky aerial mobility and good hitboxes, Ness's floatiness makes it a challenge to land, especially against characters with swords or other large hitboxes. Overall, his disadvantage state is his greatest weakness and prevents him from reaching top tier, but the decreased reaction times make Ness a very viable character online. Now let's talk about Lucas. Lucas has very similar mobility to Ness, being not too fast on the ground with great aerial mobility. His air speed is better than Ness's, while his acceleration is slightly worse, so this evens out in his overall mobility. Lucas also has good disjointed hitboxes, but his aerials function much differently. Neutral Air is a multi-hit aerial that acts as a decent out-of-shield option and landing option, but Lucas will struggle to get much of any combos out of it compared to Ness's fair strings. His forward air is a single kick with a distinguished sweet and sour spot, the sweet spot being a powerful KO option similar to Ness's back air, and the sour spot leaving much to be desired. Lucas's up air is also a single hit, resulting in an average juggling aerial that can close out stocks at very high percents. It can combo sometimes, but has a bit too much cooldown to string into itself multiple times. Back air has a few different hitboxes. One that's a strong spike, another that has decent horizontal knockback, and a sour spot with very little knockback that can string into another back air. Lastly, Lucas's down air is a lot more useful than Ness's, with three hits that make it easy to connect. The third hit spikes, and performed on stage can let this move combo into itself, and even kill confirm into forward smash. As Lucas has a tether with his rope snake, he can also perform a Zare. Lucas's Zare offers a fairly safe disjoint in front of him, which he can also use to close gaps and land. He also has a character-specific advanced technique that lets him cancel his double jump with the Zare in a precise window, resulting in an extremely low Zare from the ground. If executed properly, this can be comboed into itself to drag opponents across the stage, kill confirm, and even can be used from the ledge. Lucas is arguably better than Ness at boxing, as his tilts have decent range and disjoints to pressure shields in close quarters. Despite this, Lucas will generally play from a greater distance in neutral, as the horizontality of his fair, zare, and even his PK fire make them work best as zoning tools. In advantage state, Lucas lacks the offensive aerials to chase after opponents, but he too can pursue them with PK Thunder. Lucas's PK Thunder works a bit differently from Ness's. Instead of a single hit that pops the opponent up, this move has multiple hits that will shortly carry an opponent away. The tail that follows the Thunderball is also particularly effective at walling out recovering opponents offstage, and can be very dangerous against characters with limited recoveries. Although he doesn't have the yo-yo to hang off the ledge like Ness, Lucas's Down Smash is a large 3-hit move that's still pretty effective at 2-framing, and can likewise wreak havoc on those attempting to recover. He does struggle to land, much like Ness, but Lucas has a more capable recovery. His Rope Snake allows him to tether to the ledge, so he won't have to risk air dodging or up being, and his air dodge shares the same benefits as Ness's anyway. His PK Thunder 2 recovery travels significantly further than Ness's at the sacrifice of that insane kill power. With a better recovery and easier to land spikes, Lucas is arguably a better edge guarder than Ness, although the yo-yo certainly makes an argument for itself. Lucas also possesses powerful kill throws. His back throw is only slightly weaker than Ness's, and he can kill from his up throw as well, which won't require him to be closer to the ledge. This helps him beat shields like with Ness, but Lucas's tether grab is slower than a normal grab, and also more predictable given his typical style of playing keep away. So which character is better? We have to go with Ness. While both characters share similar attributes, Ness is much more capable in neutral and advantage state thanks to his superior aerial game. 
Lucas's moveset forces him to play more defensively and zone out his opponents, making it harder for him to gain any real momentum and maintain advantage state. Even so, Ness's metagame has been pushed much further by many players such as Best Ness and Austin. Lucas remains relevant in the hands of players like Mekos and Blucas, but no player has made a convincing enough argument to put the character above Ness. Do you agree that Ness is better than Lucas? We'd love to hear from you! I've been your host, G5Cosmos of Game 5 Smash. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more from Pro Guides.